So according to the chemical structure, so how to give the name that you have to know. For example, in the chemical compound, you have to know what is the main functional group. So far, you study about alkene. So far, you study about alkene. So far, you study about uh, we call the halo alkene. Okay, then followed by so you study about alcohol. Okay, so priority should we go to alcohol. Alkane and al hello alkane and alkane, they are considered similar. So that's why we can able to see, I can put there the priority which is more important on alkene. Okay, yeah. okay, so from here once again, alcohol should be the first. Then followed by alkene, then followed by halo alkane, and uh, the alkene they are same standard. Get it? Yeah, okay. So when you go for the functional group, you must know. For example, chemical one, alcohol, 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 and alcohol. So mainly alcohol should be the first priority, and secondly, we go to the number of the substitute. Twins. I repeat, substituent. I didn't say substitution. Huh? I say substituent group. This is substituent group. NH2, Br, CS3, NH2 here. Uh, so this is what we call substituent. How to able to make it the number as less as possible? It should be more important. Okay, let me try to give the name. And before we start, at this one, I think you have the question already. You can able to try yourself and I will give to you the answer. Okay, so I wish that you know. Before this, I need to somebody become my queen screen. Okay, anyone can help me to queen screen? Hmm, let me select. Victor, can you help me? Ah, uh, sir, I'm using Zoom. Uh, can I send after the class? Yeah, after the class, ah. Okay, no problem. Uh. Okay, ah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you post it in the L L one group. Okay. Okay. LT, uh, L2 students, uh, I think some, one of you become the print screen also. When you're done already, so you can print screen the slide, which is under, you can refer to your L2 student, let me post it to the L2 Microsoft team, easy for them to do revision. Okay, I will tell you which one of the print screen should be. Okay, let me start. For the chemical that you can see that, this is under the cyclo. In the cyclo that we know the name we call, it's a cyclohex okay hex be careful when go to the hydrosex you have to know about uh, under what type of the double bond should be so this one you give it to us is under hex in in and afterwards this come number one you no need to put one no need in cyclo only uh, in cyclo you no need to put one no need but in normal aliphatic you must keep the OH and also two of the OH you must keep the partitions. Is it clear? Single, no need. So we having is E no. Which E no? This is common number one, this is common number two. So that we having cyclohex two E no. Okay, okay, then afterwards uh, we then substitution uh, substituents group. This is we call be careful, uh, some students will put M mean wrong. It should be under amino so remember the name we call amino which amino two amino so two amino cyclohex two amino some students concerned about the a here optional you want to put capital a bole small a boom bole get it but iphon and also the comma very important any wrong means for the double bond sorry the the comma and also the i hyphen we give it to you wrong. Yeah. How we mark normally is cyclohex2 ino, we give one mark. And in front here, 2 meet amino, we give one more mark. Normally, uh, normally, but sometimes we will change. Okay, so be careful when you give the name. Okay, secondly, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That we know is under the heps. Any double bond? Yes, we got double bond which is located at which carbon? You cannot put number here, uh, cannot double layer, uh, because OH is the main function group rather than double bond. Should we give the double bond, uh, the OH become the lesser number as possible? 
even though double bond you got two but we still have to go for OH because the priority over here alcohol more than L is priority compared to alkene okay so then how many have then remember have die in okay die in uh. then furthermore we give the name you must be careful with the name okay die to all because they're located at number two and cause of die in of here the double bond which is a uh, like which is located at which carbon carbon number four and carbon number six so you must see the name which is what is it four six okay four six four comma six dash and remember with the die you must insert a in front of the number four and six so become hepta four six die in to all get what i mean yes huh? okay then furthermore that we have the mh2 once again this one we call amino three amino hepta four six die in to all yeah okay now we go to number three number three quite confused but students sometimes they don't care they care about uh, how to oh give the priority so the put this one is a one two three four five i tell you wrong already why should be wrong because in the way that you go for the priority oh oh here should be give to us the lesser number as possible so you put one two three one two three they are same but how to make the substituent group ch3 and br become the lesser is more important rather than alkene group in cycloalkene case you get my mean so in here that this should be the carbon number one okay one two three this is four okay so then we can able to give the name okay let me start the name we call cyclo cyclo what cyclo pens cause of the double bond here should be penta one four one two three four with the double bond okay some students will think wrongly they put one two two three four then sorry ah uh, wrong idea so then followed by die in in and follow by one three die all remember with the die here you must keep the a pen top with the die here you also must keep what you keep keep the e keep the e don't erase the e okay then finally what is a uh, other group we got bromo then we got methyl bromo located at carbon number four and methyl group located at carbon number two so methyl followed by form bromo so what's the name for it we call three hey sorry four bromo so during exam when you go for this one you can first thing is do rough first if let's say wrong already quickly you just cancel the answer don't waste your correction tape don't use your liquid paper so faster you just cancel and rewrite the answer okay so we call four bromo followed by two methyl cyclopenta one four diene one three diol so we write the name here should be the complete name for the compound number three get it check your answer for those answer already so now open for question answer do you anything to ask no no okay please help me to print screen thank you uh, so that, okay l2 student please uh, you also print screen and keep in your computer then later you post in l2 group Okay, three, two, one. Let me start. Okay, this compound. Let's try before I give it to you the answer. 
I give it to you three minutes to answer this all. Okay, some students will concern. Mr. Lim, in the uh, benzene compound, because of we sometimes we refer to the question, the question asks us to use IUPAC name. But uh, in the compound of benzene ring, sometimes we have to use common name. Then, how about during the exam or during the test two, what should we do? So normally, I will inform the student, in the test two, especially give the chemical name, normally I will ask you, give the chemical name. I am not limited you to use IUPAC for this time. So you can use a common name. For example, yes, this is we call what? This one we call benzyl aldehyde. Clear? So write down. Okay, benzyl aldehyde, then followed by NH2 and the CH3. So when you give the name, this is carbon number one, this is two. Two, we have amino. Three, four, five. Five, we got methyl. So according to alphabetical, A first. So the name becomes, the name becomes two amino, five methyl, benzyl aldehyde. Yeah. Be careful with one item. Some students, they are smart, but they are over smart. Until you're getting wrong already, they still want to argue. Why is it? They put OMP way. For example, this one. This is under O. Then, they refer to here, this is under M. And finally, they put this one as a O amino M methyl benzyl aldehyde. Okay, I repeat that. This is under the O amino M, M, methyl, benzyl, aldehyde. This one correct, and this one do you think is correct or wrong? The answer is sorry, wrong. Because in the way to give it, the part of O and M will make us confused. We don't know which of the M located. The M can be two sided, either on the left either on the right. So in the way that you give the name O and M, you must know about which way that you refer to. So in case that two of the substituents group located in the different sites, sorry, you cannot use the auto, meta, and para position to give the compound name. But if I so hati-hati ya. So when you answer it, the answer should be two amino, five methyl, benzyl aldehyde. It is. Yeah, okay. Now we go to compound number two. Number two, that you can see that uh, they are under the cyclo. What is cyclo about? The cyclo hex. Hex, something that we call diene. Okay, so then which carbon should be? Then some students say, Mr. Name, can I start from here? I say, here, Salah. Here also Salah. You must choose for those the alkene attached with the substituents group. So you start from here. Okay. Do you think it's correct? Also wrong. Because you got chloro, because you got bromo, why you still choose chloro? Why don't you choose bromo? According to the alphabetical. So this one should become number one, then number two, three, four, five, and six. Get it? Yeah, so hex one four. Okay, that in followed by the way that you need to put the name, which is one bromo, two chloro, cyclohexa, one four that in. And uh, okay, I give it to you one and two already. Now I want you to give it to me the three. What's the name for the chemical number three? Be careful with this part. You must know it. What is the name for it? Okay, I give you 30 seconds to give the name.
Can I ask? Okay, let me see how is it. To get the name, you must be careful. This is referred to here as a miscellaneous female one. I say you must know about how the longest carbon chain should be. In among here, it's a long tail on carbon chain. If you choose this one as carbon number one, so I tell you, you still have to back to basic. Which one should be carbon number one? Here should be one, two, three, four, five, six, followed by seven. Okay, so it's under hept. Hept, yes, two, and in. Any more? Check. Yes, we got chloro. Chloro, number three. Then followed by here. What's the name for here? It's a name I know, female. Okay, your head. Female should be the benzene ring attached. Nothing. But this one is a benzene ring attached with one, the CH2 here. This is not benzene. This is not female. This one we call benzene. Get it? So that's why they give the name under the carbon number 4. 4 benzene. B compared to C. B first, so it should be 4 benzyl followed by 3 chloro hep 2 in. Sir, yes, uh, may I know the IOPIC name for the first question? The IOPIC name for the first question, so can you refer to the question note and tell me what is the IOPIC name for benzyl aldehyde? Can you tell me? Uh phenylmethanol okay so then put it there put the two amino then followed by five methyl then connected with the name done oh okay okay thank you sir yeah but normally sir, i don't uh, yeah why the ch3 cannot uh, ch3 with the uh, which case benzene, which case the first one uh -huh, yeah yeah what is it the benzene with the ch3 cannot be the parents Cannot be the parents. You must know about what is the longest carbon chain. Longest carbon chain you choose here. One, two, three, four, Sir, five. Ah, the yeah. first one. First one. First oh, case. First one. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Why is it? Why the benzene with the CH three cannot be the parents? Cannot be the parents. Okay. So according to just now I mentioned to you, alkane and followed by the halo alkane. They are similar. Then followed by we call alkene. Yeah, you must know which one should the priority ah uh, alkene uh. Then after alkene, it should refer to alcohol. Then after alcohol it should be ketone and aldehyde. Understand? Then last one should be carboxylic acid. So you must know about this is the we call the priority to give the name. Since this compound attached with the COH compared to CH3, you must know about which one should be the main priority. Main priority refer to elicit this compound undergoing chemical reaction. The reaction should will happen in the carbonyl group here rather than CH3. Because CH3 not able to go for many reactions. Yeah, so that's why this is the priority aldehyde compared to the CH3 is over here. Priority aldehyde menang. Okay, thank you, sir. Yeah. Yeah. So do it. Let's say another case. Uh, print screen first. Hey, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Okay, another case. Some students sometimes they will ask me more further in case this one happen. They say it's a name. It, let's say it's a benzene ring, then attached with OH, then attached with C double bond O and H. Ah, which one should be the priority? Which one should be? They got two here. You can say to choose any one name. The answer is aldehyde will become the priority. So this one still undergoing benzene aldehyde. Ayah. Yeah, then how about this one? OH. OH, OH has to change the name become hydro C. 
without L, uh, super hydroxyl. Hydroxyl is a functional group. Hydroxy becomes the name for OH. Let's say they are lesser priority. Any menang? I give three star. Uh, so, no. let's say the OH is replaced by CN, then which one will come first? Mm, okay, CN. CN is a nitrile group. Student asking about, let's say it's a benzene ring, CO with a H, so this is under the CN. So, still go to C double bond O aldehyde. So, this one we call as a cyano. Get my meaning? Okay. Uh, this one is because the double bond at the CO there can undergo more reaction than the C triple bond ends. Correct. Okay. All right. Mm. Yeah, but this one is not in your syllabus, but you say, if, let's say uh, it's come out already, so you must know about how to Sir. Sir. Yeah, okay. Uh, for just now, I go to search the uh, functional group priority, yeah. Mm. And they say nitrile is higher priority than aldehyde. Nitrile, let's say they're undergoing for certain of the cases. For example, here. For example, you got C and then attach with uh, some of the part. For example, uh, OH and etc. Uh, then should be okay. You have to know about how the priority should be. Okay. But in your syllabus, uh, hello, in your syllabus, you just only have to study not involve cyano because cyano or nitrile just only taking as a new group. Uh. Understand? You go to degree, you study more further how to give the name based on difference of the funk. It means a condition. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, Sir, one more question. Yeah. If the OH replaced by uh, the COOH, then which one comes first? Ah, yes. If let's say it's a COOH, yes, this one comes first. Because LDHI becomes the main priority. Then we got special name for it. Okay, this is CO, then uh, you can refer to internet to get about the name. Okay, uh, so uh, also don't worry, uh, this is not under your syllabus. I sometimes I have to verify it because some students you can suggest anything. So I finally you were getting stuck. He said, Mr. Lim, why can you come up with this kind of idea? I say, if it, if let's say you want to know further, I can tell you. But in case of syllabus, I have to stop you. You get it? Yeah. Hmm. Anything? Yep. Uh, may I know what is the fun, uh, what is the IOPEN name for the benzyl aldehyde? Benzyl aldehyde, eh, refer to your text. Refer to your lecture notes. They got special name for the here. Refer so, to uh, benzyl aldehyde is special name, right? Benzyl aldehyde is special name. You refer to the lecture notes. Oh, benzyl aldehyde is a special name or IOPEN name, sir? Benzyl aldehyde is a common name. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, mm, okay. So, first off, we have to go further. Otherwise, we cannot finish all the discussion. Okay, please screen ready. Okay, now how to give the name for this compound? Come, I give it to you one minute. Faster to give the name. So, can you please go back to the previous slide and have to take a print screen? Okay. No, I mean just now. Just now. Yes, uh, just are not included. Uh, I just only. Never mind, it's okay. That one not important. Okay, this uh, one more important. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, this one also very important for you. So, once again, uh, I will ask you what is the chemical name. So, you can select. Let's say you know. I will pack. Go ahead. And let's say no, you use common name. No harm. I will give it to you, Mark. Okay, uh, okay, some students, uh, they're very smart, they say, Mr. Lin, this is a uh, toluene. I say, go ahead, toluene. What toluene? Uh, one, two, three. Three chloro toluene. No problem, holy. Okay, otherwise, you put the name as a uh, one chloro three methyl benzene. Boom, mole. So, they got two answers. Uh.
Sir, for the second name, that one need to uh, write the M dash before it or not? I can I think why is it? Uh, for the part A, the second answer you gave, uh, I need to put the M before the answer or not? What what M? Meta. Oh, you want to use common name Meta, isn't it? Uh. And also, no problem, but I prefer that you use very simple way. Because auto meta para using it for the sub double or maybe the single substituent for the reaction use. So you make you make yourself confused and spend more time to answer. Okay, take Mr. Lim advice, huh? Give the number is more easy. Unless you really know, then you can able to put the, the name. For example, that you can put the name we call this is what? Oh my par this is functional group, huh? Following. Oh my paradise. So this is under M. So you put M Chloro Toluin Pum Boling. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, yeah. yeah so this is the name M Chloro Toluin. Huh? What is it? Oh, sorry, sir. May I know uh, part A can why cannot be three three chloro one methyl benzene? Three chloro, uh huh. Uh, methyl benzene. Okay, alphabetical. You want to compare M to C, which one should be the first? I, I mean, what are uh, three color methyl benzene cannot? So I read up, I didn't Salah. put three. Salah, you put three chloro, you put three chloro followed by one methyl, sorry, out. We give to you no, one. I, I, I didn't put one, I just put three color methyl benzene. Cannot be, cannot be. That only. Oh. Okay, so so coro and methyl have the same uh priority. Yeah. Yes, because this benzene ring you must know about the positions itself. Unless unless you very common name you put toluene. Toluene refer to here and uh, then we know this is considered name and the M or the three positions refer to the coro, then it should be fine. Okay, oh, okay you can okay, put okay, three coro. Yeah, do not, do not. Uh, some students will waste part to say, Mr. Lim, I put uh, one chloro and uh, then followed by methyl benzene. Bole ta? I say ta bole. Ta bole. Ta bole. You must give it to me what is the number for methyl group. Okay, uh? okay, next one is under NO2 and followed by BR. NO2 with the benzene ring, no special name for it. Uh? So, this one is under the nitro. So this one's under bromo. Fine. Which one for me first? B first. So it should be one bromo, then followed by one, two, three, four. Four nitro benzene. Yeah. So you can give the name or you can put as a P bromo nitro benzene. Should be okay. Okay, yeah. okay, but this one, that's why I say it. Okay, you use uh, the common name, sometimes you will confuse yourself. Mr. Name had to put the number or no need. So why don't you make ourselves more easier? One bromo, four nitro, benzene. Done already. Why to go further? Isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Hello? Sorry, I can't hear you. So this one we are not encourage you to do it. Okay, then next one ah uh, refer to here. Ah Muslim said carboxylate to become the priority lay. Okay, and then this is what? This one we call as a benzoic acid. Get it? Okay, the answer we put one, two, three, four. We got four chloro. Okay, four chloro benzoic acid. So remember, uh, you must give the name correctly. Benzoic followed by acid. Kasih jarak sikit ah. Uh. Here got spacing ah, uh, please ah. Uh. You put in one word. Uh oh, sorry, wrong in format. Because carboxylic acid, the name should be separated between. They have become two words. Okay, so you can also give the name 
p-chlorobenzoic acid, bromolate. But I prefer this answer. Okay, green screen, thank you. And mm. Okay, how to give the chemical structure? Dun, 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 dun. How? This is more easier for you, isn't it? Okay, come. Let's draw before I show you the answer. Master, hey, tak ada buat kerja macam mana yang dapat markah? Tolonglah. Do something that before I give it to you the answer. Don't look at the screen only and don't play your handset. Put down your handset. Aduh. Okay, okay, let me see how it don't be careless with the octave. Ah, October, bulan 10, 10 carbon. Oh no. <laughs> Sometimes students so funny. Sunny until I don't know what to do. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Okay, now afterwards we got 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 with OH and followed by 7, 7 with the methyl group. CH3 and CH3. And then after this one, I say, oh, damn, I scored two marks. I say, why you give this answer? Wrong man, is the name. Sure wrong. Uh. <laughs> so lazy. <laughs> okay, I'll write properly. Uh. And uh, one more time. Uh. I not, all the time, I don't encourage you to use skeleton structure for drawing. Don't, don't, don't show off. Uh. You want to show off? Go after your degree, but not now. Okay? <laughs> Next one. Hat 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And so we got 7, 3. 1, 2, 3 with O, H. 4 with propyl. Propyl, 1, 2, 3. 5 of meteor. And afterwards, we'll put the H here, attach. And check properly, uh, any of the H less, please insert it. Okay, this is the answer, I don't care. I care. One H, sorry, the whole song is getting wrong. Cyclopenta pentamidiol. Ah, so this one stated is a 1, 2. So normally we put 1, 2 here to show the diol. Normally, ah. Okay, 1 and 1, 2 put in front there will be accepted. Because without any other substituent group, we can put 1, 2 in front there. Can I? Ah? Okay, so you put cyclopenta pentam 1, 2 diol will be accepted. Get it? Okay, okay. So the name. Anything? Cyclopentane diol. Yeah. So this is the chemical structure. Okay. And last one. Butes. One three. The one was a cyclohexid. Then the rest.
Done already, print screen. Yes, ah. Okay, not easy okay. to use writing. Not easy to use writing pad for drawing. Yes, why is it? Ah, uh, so I I mean I say drag done screen screen. Uh, okay. Okay, so that's why my drawing is so ugly. Okay. Done already. Done. Sure. Okay. Yeah. What is it? Axial. No need to draw a circle. Axial. No need to draw a circle. It means what? Need to put a carbon carbon there, isn't it? Axial. Six member. Ah. Cyclo is a ring. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Mm, okay, students sometimes will ask me, Mr. Lee, have to, have to show all the carbon and hydrogen. So I say, yes, you can show. But we can mix, we can mix collectin, okay, for though the cyclo. Cyclohexyl, cyclopentyl, cyclobutyl, cyclopropyl. Uh, this one you can use collectin structure to connect to the chemical structure. Yes, what's the question? Uh, so if let's say the cyclohexane uh, got one double bond inside then how to name it wow how to name it uh? so uh. What? yeah okay uh student ask if let's say mr lim we got a double bond inside here uh, this one honestly uh, it's a degree program degree syllabus okay you want to give a syllabus then it should be okay i can tell you uh. so we have a special name we call the hex hex with one two three in then followed by the name here it's more complicated but not in your syllabus ah don't worry okay i have to verify it okay now go to question number two so then now we go further is how to identify the name for it okay for example name the following species in your syllabus they got totally two species you must be careful Species number one we call electrophile. Species number two we call nucleophile. Okay, and one more topic which is in between them we call free radical. Okay, in the free radical, this one just only involved in topic number two. And uh, the direction name we call free radical substitution. You get what I mean? Other topic not involved doing stable stable because of some of the students during the full report they use free radical to identify. I said sorry already. You must know. And the free radical normally involved is half steam aero because it just involve single electron. Yeah, for example, what? For example, Br to the Br, they are splitting one to each other. Okay, by the homolytic cleavage, so they can able to form Br with single dot. Br with single dot. You want to do other dot? No problem, but make sure that the number of the electron must be odd. Uh, this one I call free radical. And when um, we go to electrophile, some students get things like, um, hey, can you give me more simple way? I say no problem. If you don't refer to file. File in Greek language we call love. Love, electro, the mean is under a negative. So the mean is referred to the species love electron. To love electron, it must be a positive charge. Must be. So that's why normally we put symbol as E plus. Understand? And uh, when to which topic you normally will ask you is under topic number four. Which one? The aromatic. Ah, remember uh, aromatic substitution. Okay, this one electrophile. So do be penny uh, when you see it, you must remember about which one the love about undergoing the love electron it must carry positive charge. Then which topic involve topic number four 
only. Now we go to nuclear file. File also refer to love. But it love what? It love nucleus. Inside nucleus you got what? They got proton. Right now. Proton, huh? So you love proton, they mean it should refer to the species what? Species love proton. Love proton, it must be a negative charge. Get it? So normally we put what? We put NU negative. Okay, which topic normally we use it? Oh, because so many topics that we use. For example, we use it in the topic number five. We use it in the topic number seven. Seven, this one refer to ketone and aldehyde. Topic number five is refer to the halo alkene. Okay, halo alkene group. You get it? Yeah, okay, now refer to the questions. A specific fish is nucleus loving. Ha, ah, nucleus. Dalam nucleus ada apa? Ada proton. Love proton should be carrying negative charge. Negative charge refer to what? Sini, mana? Sini lah. Nucleus. Okay, nucleophile. So, have a region of high electro density. So, have the higher electron, should she give it to us. So, the call this one is under nucleophile. Okay, some students ask me, Mr. Lee, what's the difference between nucleophile and nucleophilic? Nucleophile refer to species and refer to nucleophilic. This one refer to the name of reactions and then the reaction name we call nucleophilic. A species which has an odd number of electrons has a highly reactive. Refer to what? Refer to this one radical okay do you have any problem so far please yes, uh. mm, yeah what is the second point you write for the electron power second point the species is love electron ah uh, the next one it must be a positive charge a positive. Okay, okay, thank you, sir. Uh, so, yep. uh, I, I have a question in the chat box. Uh, I already put in the chat box. If the LQ group that combine like this, then is it considered as proper also? Uh, can you give me an example? Uh, I mean, if if propyl we will attach to the uh, to the first carbon uh, but uh, this one is uh, attached to the second carbon of the propyl then how we name it oh you still go for the naming isn't it uh, yeah 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 uh, yeah uh, yeah okay so okay uh can somebody print screen first before we go back to the slide i'm done uh, okay, do you have any problem about this one? Electrophile, nucleophile, and free radical. Ada apa soalan? No, uh, no, okay, we're back to the questions. Okay, which question you ask? Uh, uh, this is the extra question. <laughs> which extra questions? Sir, he already posted inside the chat box. Yeah, chat box. But I can't see it. <laughs> I can't see it. And furthermore, my hand, my handset also got problem for the the means that the logging, so I can't see. But never mind, I will answer your question later. And oh, okay, 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 huh? okay. Don't worry about it. I will answer you. Are you from L one or L two? Uh, I'm Sean from L one. L one, ah, okay. So it's okay. Yeah. Ah. Oh, Sean. Oh, okay. Sometimes I cannot recognize your voice. Sorry, ah. Okay, so now ah, dang, 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 this question. Hey, this question maybe you come out in test two on during the final exercise. Sure, I will ask you. I will read it to you because this is under our syllabus. You must be careful. Yeah. So, arrange the following compound in increasing order of acidity. Explain your answer. Can okay, okay. In these cases, you must identify what is the factor 
Okay, the factor. Uh. So among here, you must identify, yes, for example, that is a CL, CL versus H, H, BR, and BR. Can you see the pattern? Can I? Okay, so now you have to choose which among here consider the lesser first. Because the question asks you in increasing order. Jangan sebo-sebo pergi terbalik. Ah. We do one that uh, you want to show off or anything. Must be clear which one the lesser first, higher after. Then, afterward, you have to concern about in the CL and the BL, you can versus one to each other to compare. But how about H to compare? H nothing. But the problem is we know H actually refer to the whole thing we call the RQ group. You get my point? Get out? Okay. So, I summarize it using a simple way. In the acidity, Of alcohol okay it must be inversely proportional to alkyl group do you understand yeah okay it let's say the compound attached with the alkyl group alkyl group yeah especially the acidity will consider very very low you get my mean or not okay so for example in here even though that it attached with the alkyl group but the cl and cl here is another factor we can put aside in this topic we normally will give to you two factors factor number one is about the alkyl group and another one we call the Highlight atoms is a factor number two. Get it? Yeah, okay. So, once again, alkyl group attached, you will lower down the acidity. But highlight atoms, you are undergoing to make the acidity of the alcohol increases. Get it? Yeah? Okay. Then, afterwards, you go for further is about the size. How about the size of the Highlight atom. Okay, sign of the highlight atom, which is they will inversely to the acidity of alcohol. You get my meaning? Can I? Okay. For example, in this case, among here, one, two, three, tell me first, which one should be lowest acidity? Separate the loop. Number. Two. Okay, number two. So we know number two should be an arrangement. Yes, it become the lowest. And which one should be the second lower acidity? Cl and Br. Which one? Cl, Br, they are okay. they are under the same group, uh, under the same headlight group, but the size is different. How the size will affect to the acidity? Cl smaller. BR bigger. When you're getting bigger, refer to the physical chemistry topic number two. You study about bond order, bond length, bond strength. Do you still remember? Makin besar, the size getting getting bigger, and to make it the acidity getting what? More even, more even, larger. Okay, so once again, I do correction from here. Should be here. Uh, okay, so that's why in here CL consider the CL and the BL, which one consider more acidity? Yeah. BL then. Where are the CL? Oh, sorry. Okay, once again, I made a mistake. I made a small mistake. Huh? Okay, not according to the size. Ayah, apa benda saya buat ni? Okay, once again, huh? not according to the size. It's according to the electronegativity. 
Okay, sorry for about the mistake. Hmm. Okay, so among here, they consider about the electronegativity, CL consider more what? More stronger effect. So that's why one should be more stronger compared to the three. So this is the sequence you must know about it. Can I? Okay, uh, now, now we can able to know, give the point one by one. Okay, stand by with the paper. Then you can write it down. Number one, which is what? You said that two is less acidity then 3 and 1 here got one point what's the reason because 2 has what alkyl group yeah then what is the point for alkyl group normally alkyl group is an electron one donating group Okay, one is donate, uh, look at here. One is donate the electron toward it. This C is full of electron. This C. When the C getting electron getting more, so this one actually based on the here, the C itself, they will try to let the OH more strengthen. Yeah, so the point you should write there, which is the OH group. Okay, this is the point, which is uh, when you're going to electron to here, more to neg negative electron, uh, negative. So this O N we can able to be attracted and make it the whole thing getting what? The O is more to the negative side and O is more negative and not easy to let the H release. Okay, more or less so the H release. Then this one you make it the acidity getting lower. Okay, yeah. So that's why in the H plus dissociate less with V. Okay. okay, so this is the point. Okay, then afterward point two, I just mentioned to you quickly write down. Okay, I just tell you about the first format. Can I? Okay, now already, now we go for why? Why the acidity for number one and three is considered higher? Okay, so first point that you have to mention the three and the two, the number one, which is higher than number two based on their acidity. You write it down, huh, Pastor? Because they have one, they got two halide atom attached to it. Okay, and this halide atom 
is considered electro withdrawing group. Okay, then afterwards, uh, this one you make it the make it the OH group, the OH bond is weakened. Because of what? The lower partial negative. Negative charge on the O atoms okay and afterward to make it the H dissociate more richly you get the point okay so this is the way how we explain based on the CL and BR long and hard because of the ACD, ACDT higher than number two this is the reason Okay, and point number three, you can continue based on what? Based on one is a larger SVP compared to the three. So this is considered the CL compared to the PR is more electronegativity. Yeah, so then afterwards, more ele higher electronegativity, this one is higher in what? in the electro withdrawing effect get it so that's why you can able to make it someone here lah. the oh is considered more weakened compared to the br and make it the o itself and h plus dissociate more readily compared to the br case okay so this is the case how you able to compare one to each other get it fine Okay, so print screen, thank you. Uh, so, yeah. if let's say the second one, the compound, ah. the alkyl group becomes CH3, CH2, CH2, then which one will be more acidic? Can you repeat your question? If the second compound here, the ah. alkyl group is CH3, CH2, CH2, then which one is more acidic? Okay, normally this one we compare one to each other, consider they are quite similar. You cannot use that one to know because one of them maybe is a 7.0, another one should be 7.1. It's so close one to each other, not significant pH can be used to compare. Okay. 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 Mm. Now ready? Okay. I give it to you some past semester questions uh, I refer to here. Some past semester questions uh, normally I will ask you based on here. For example, OH then connected to CL connected to BR then versus this one. Okay, so this is case number one. Okay, case number two maybe. OH, OH with CL, OH with CL, can be like that, okay, otherwise I give to you the same OH, OH with the CL, OH with BR, same thing that you can use to compare, get it, okay, so normally in case number one, this one is based on the distance. Okay. Also, that you can refer to the question itself. Let's say we got methyl group. Uh, then you know methyl group consider what? Yes, electron donating group. And using the same way, you can explain about the CL and BR using just now the stack I give it to you. You get a point? Get out. Okay. So this one also based on the cases exactly like same we discussed just now. This is case number two. This is clear number three.
Can I? Okay, class, you can print screen. So, so. Yep. Uh, the, the answer for case one, two, three is same like the previous question, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, okay. Thank you, sir. Yeah, welcome. Sir. Yep. Got question, they compare the size of the alkyl group. Uh. Size of the alkyl group. That means, that means like one is CH3, another one CH2, CH3. Hey, that's how your friend is asking. In case that it happened here. This one is made. So normally in this case we're going to compare because the acidity is quite close one to each other. The effect. So no significant use to compare one to each other. No. Okay, sir. Thank you. Come. Sir, for the second yep. one is the distant or what? Because both is CL, right? Mm. For the second scenario. Yes, correct. In case number two, this one still undergoing the distance. Distance, okay. So um, until, let's say I label this with carbon uh, compound A, B, and C. Tell me which one is the less acidity? A. Very good. A. Which one should be the second? C. Very good. And this is B. Get the point? Ah, so this on here you can see what is the difference. Normally we give to you the same of the halide atom, different distance. Or I give it to you is the same distance, different halide atoms. Ah, so you can use this one to compare. Also, when the uh, halide atom, uh, halide ion is more further from the OH, that means the uh, uh, distance longer than the acidity lower. Yes, correct. Oh, okay, okay, thank you, sir. Yeah. Sir, the yep. case one is same as the case three, is it? Yes, correct. Okay. Yeah, okay. Done for here. Okay, now for L2 students, sometimes you still do know about it, I can explain to you. Yeah, this is under the benzene ring. When you attach with some of the recall directions, what is a possible answer should be given? Because some students, you will do know. You see four bar, you think about just only one answer. You must be careful. Okay. So, for example, in let's say the benzene ring undergoing for those Cl with the presence of FeCl3. So, this benzene ring still consider new compound, nothing happened, and they're undergoing, we call the mono substituent to attach with the Cl followed by HCl as a side product. You get it? So, normally this is two marks. This is one mark. Remember, uh, this benzene ring without any honor. But in case the benzene ring do the CS3, you must be careful because they can able to give it to you more than one answer followed by one side product. You get my mean? Okay, for example, this CS3 becomes the landlord of the benzene ring. It will be limited at auto and para to accept the substitution them to form 2M product with a higher yield. This one can be considered almost zero. You can ignore it. You get my point? Yeah. So in case there's a student L2, you still don't know, okay, this reaction happened. For example, this is phenol. Phenol is under, we call auto para directing activator. It's allowed the auto followed by the para positions to form the compound. Uh, this is auto and this is para. So you can able to accept. Another answer, the, the we call the electrophile, we will attach at here, which is the auto positions. Okay, uh, two answers must be given, uh, not only one. So now, as a revision, we got auto para directing activator. Next, we got group auto para directing deactivator and followed by meta directing deactivator. These three groups you must, 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 must remember. I will ask you. Yeah. For those you want, you can print screen. L1, I think, no need already, isn't it? We've done already before. L2, you can print screen. I simplify for you. When the R group attached with this side, NH2, OH, OR, 
in your syllabus ah, I just circle ah, for those necessary for your subject. Uh, okay, ah, one, two, three, four only. This is under auto para. They mean auto and a para should be two compound, must be attached as a two answer final product. Get it? But in case of auto para directing the activator, they are attached with fluorine or we call fluoro, bromo, chloro, iodo. Also, we come up with two M products. This one also two M products. Get it? But in case that is the the benzene ring have been attached with aldehyde, ketone, ester, carboxylic acid, benzoyl sulfuric acid. Okay, so for the exit, uh, one, two, three, four, five. This one is under meta. How many? One M product will be obtained. Okay, L2, you can print screen. That L2. Okay, so for example, that this is the we call auto para directing activator. So you can see, ah, this is the CH3, then you call. Mm -hmm. This is under which group? Ah? You say, not sure. Ah. Okay, not sure, refer to here. Here, R group. R group is a LQ group. So it's under two compound can be obtained, finally. One and two, which affect at auto and para positions. Two answer. Okay, then followed by one more side, we call HBR. You need to put two HBR, uh, no such thing, uh, HBR. Uh, sir. Yeah. The auto and para both are not considered a major or minor. No, no, nothing. Because they're considered quite similar. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you, sir. Good question. Uh. Some question was, Mr. Lane, in according to the mechanical rules, uh, uh, then later we will form major and minor. Isn't it? That one is alkene. So that's the plus. This is benzene ring, we do have major or minor. Tak ada benda macam ni. Okay. Okay, then afterwards, go through the second, which is the fluoro, chloro, uh, bromo, and iodo. It's under auto para directing the activator. As a result, two answers should be given. Yes, benzene ring with the CL. Finally, finally, auto and the para will be attached. In degree program, you will explain why auto and para by the delocalized of the electrons in the benzene ring with the reason in your program syllabus tak perlu okay so two answers should be given you must remember do you say you the question is so easy a format you so do you mean just only one answer can give to you format your head don't think about it okay now we go for further it's aldehyde ketone ester and benzoic acid followed by this one ah this one's very famous ah under the sulfonic and undergoing, we just only can able to obtain one answer. Okay, nitro, finally, one more nitro attached at the meta positions. Start to answer Sahaja. Ken? Yeah, sir. Yeah. Can you explain again uh, the auto and para activator and the activator? Eh, ah, yeah. L2 or L1 student? You are? Uh, L1. I want you. Okay. Okay. Once again, uh, this is under un, under the benzene ring. When it attached with this one, one, two, three, four, five, attached with here. So you have to know this is classified under auto para directing activator. So you are undergoing to form, let's say, with the Cl, FeCl3. How many M product can be obtained? Answer me. Two product. Yes, one attached at auto and para. Okay, auto one and also para one. Two answers should be. Would you palm? Okay, uh. so this is under the case number one. Case number two under auto para directing the activator. Do you say the missing the activator, the activator, different one? They are under the same, but different reason. Uh. Same answer should be 
must be attached with two end products. Two. Not sure, I know. Okay, I put this one. CL undergoing HNO3, H2SO4, nitration. So, how many answers should be given? Two answers. NO2 followed by here. NO2. Two answers must be. Clear? Hey, what is the difference? Uh, sorry, uh, sir, I can't, I still can't get it. Uh, it's still undergoing auto and para to have two answers. Even though different name, but answer same. So can consider it yeah, same. <laughs> yeah, consider okay, same. Okay. Because your program, you don't need to explain. But in degree program, you must know how to explain why they are different name, but same answer must be given. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, welcome. Uh, sir, yeah. for just now, the, that example, no need to add something like the water. So that's why I say, yeah, I, thank you. If let's say during exam, normally they will look at the marks in it. Okay, mark. Uh, so we refer to how many marks. If let's say four marks, two answer done. If let's say it's a five mark, uh, be careful. It means what? It must be have a two main and it means a main product followed by the side product hcl you get my mean okay, uh? so so for the safety use better you write all the answer okay rather than others so why in this case or uh, the end product is hcl when the hcl oh what is the hcl oh sorry uh, not hcl okay it's hno3 so later they will form back as a catalyst i will show to you the mechanism later okay sorry ah no hcl ah bukan ah i just give it to you the example okay now we go to our questions okay try to answer for me this question how many end product and followed by what is the structure for the end product okay i give it to you two minutes to answer faster
Okay, shall we start? Okay, so first one, how many end products should be? Only one. Secondly, Yeah, so this is the end product. If let's say you can answer correctly, Tanya. Okay, any question you want to ask? Sir. Yeah. For the second uh for the second one la, uh -uh. must put the HBR because already got two BR taken and the third BR where they take from. Okay, the same thing happened because the possibility the product if let's say is under one hundred percent. It will produce 60 followed by around uh, 39 uh, 39 percent so hbr actually contributed from both of them with one answer hbr okay so thank you fast dana okay we make it faster because uh something that they do go for it okay how about this one uh, Maybe some of them will ask me, Mr. Lima, this compound, uh, they will ask us about the, the name or not. What is the process name? For example, this reaction, all the same. What is the name for this compound? It means uh, for this whole reaction name? Halogenation. Halogenation. Okay, you can put halogenations. Somebody will say, Mr. Lim, uh, can I put uh, bromination? I say, no problem. Can also. But some of them you say, if then can I put electrophilic uh, halogenation as okay? No problem. Electrophilic halogenation also can. Yeah, but make it more simple. Which one is more similar and which one more easier for you? Just give it a name. Yeah. Okay. So then afterwards uh, this compound, what's the end product should be? Then this compound, don't be panic. Don't scare about it. Just think about this is C followed by O followed by CH3. Okay, it's under what? It's under the ketone. Uh. Ketone as a homolog series. So you refer to just now the list that we know, the ketone here can give it to us under meta directing deactivator. So this is O M P O my paradise. So refer to here and attach with the compound itself. Get it? Attach properly, ah. Uh. Come the answer. One answer. Next one. NH two. NH two refer to yes. Auto para directing activator so this is under the o that means under the p so don't worry just only based on here to give the name then finally you can able to obtain the compound okay past semester one student do this one we think 
yeah, wave zone complicated. So we just only put it as a NH2, then we put BR, then we put BR. Can or cannot? You think about this one can give to you four mark. Huh? The answer is sorry, zero mark, no mark. Because we didn't put any extreme conditions, this compound cannot be formed. Extreme with what? BR2, AL2, AL, BR3, heat, catalyst, then this compound will be attached with here. This one is under extreme condition, then you will come up with one compound, finally attached with 3 BR with the benzene ring. Then, once again, this is also not under your syllabus, so don't worry about it. Okay, yeah. okay, then go to the CL. This is under the part of group. Hey, look, it's so familiar. Why is it? They tell us you are. Okay, go for it. The CL under auto para directing B activator. So draw properly. Can I? So this is the answer. Any question you want to ask? So oh, about sorry. HCL uh, down. Last one. Last one. Last one. HCL. Yes, you can put. Okay, but normally this question we give it to you two marks. This one also two marks. But this one normally we give four marks. And this one also under four marks. So they mean the sub product you can ignore it. In the reaction, uh, but in the mechanism, you must be careful because mechanism anything can be the uh, can be contribute the mark. Okay, later I'll show to you. Okay now, okay. Now can you please tell me in the direction of one, two, three, four, what is the name? What is the name? Yeah, okay. For example, the first one number we refer to more easier. BR number three is under halogenation. Find the name, ah. Okay, NO from HNO three. This is under what? Nitration. Okay. How about here? CH CO attached with the CL and also the CH two CH three. So you can put this one under alkylation. Okay, can I? But some of them say, Mr. Name, can I put a name we call Federal Craft? I say, you want to put a name, be careful. Uh, give full name. Don't put F dot C dot alkylation. Totally, we give to use zero mark. Because we don't know what's FC. We know KFC. Yeah, so better don't put, or rather than you put in a full name. Uh, this one, what's the name? Who knows? Sulfonation. Yes, sulfonation. Very good. Uh, so give the name in correct way. Normally, how the question will come up with the odd number of the overall questions. If let's say we set until 14 marks, one more mark normally will ask you what's the name of this fraction. You might give it to us the name. Okay, uh, is it clear? Sir. Yeah. The reaction name uh, for like first one is halogenation, right? The first one? Uh, no, sulfonation. Uh, sound formation, for right? Ah, the sound first formation. one. Yes, correct. And the mechanism name? Mechanism name? Same ah. thing? Oh, same thing. Ah. Ah, but then later, later, we go one example to show you. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you, sir. Okay, done. Print screen, thank you. Okay, now we go for here. Ah. Nitrobenzene, uh, actually, this question is testing on you the and your understandable on the topic itself. Based on what? Based on, do you know how to draw the chemical structure? Nitrobenzene. You say, yeah, nitrobenzene, easy, na. this is nitrobenzene, this is nitrobenzene, no. <laughs> I tell you, you laugh until die. <laughs> when the nitrobenzene, please do it wrong. Don't, don't do it wrongly, uh, NH2. It should be what? Hey, this one happened last semester. Uh, some students they are so panic until they draw it and later they don't do a double check. NO2. 
yeah, can undergo further nitration fraction at a high temperature to produce M dinitrobenzene. Name the mechanism involved. Ah, now you have to show to us what is the name for it. Okay, nah? okay, what is the mechanism name? You must be careful. Ah. This one is no nitrogen nitration already ah, because they are undergoing the mechanism. So in the mechanism, you must be careful. The name we call electrophilic aromatic substitution. Yeah. Nitration refers to the chemical reaction name. But in a mechanism, you must be careful, the name is under this one. Okay. I can consider almost uh, almost the mechanism in chapter number four under the same name we call electrophilic aromatic substitution. But just only they are different in the chemical reaction name. Nitration, halogenation, Frederick Craft oscillation. Uh, sulfonation. Yeah, this is what we call reaction name. Yeah. Okay. Number two, propose the reaction mechanism for nitration of benzene to produce N the nitro benzene. So in the way that you must know about what is the important point for you to give the mechanism. So as I say to you, topic number four, you must relate with electrophile. So this is the most important thing, how you produce first before you come up with a reaction. For example, HNO3 will be undergoing reactor with the catalyst. Why I say catalyst? Because later they will return the H to the chemical reaction. Okay, so if let's say during exam, you say, Mr. Ling, can I copy directly from those? Why not? Okay, so make sure you, when you copy, don't change your own format. Don't simply change it. Okay, otherwise, I tell you, you're getting wrong. Then normally, we'll deduct the bar strictly without any PT. Okay, no PTness. Huh? So once again, water will be contributed. Okay, in the reactions. And afterwards, you attach with the nitro benzene. Uh, in the nitro benzene, be careful. Some students are so creative, they put benzene in, you say this one can be accepted, you put a circle in the benzene, normally we give to you wrong, cannot be. Because you want to show how the electro, electro from the benzene ring contributed to the compound itself. Okay, electrophile, which one is electrophile? This is the electrophile that we want. Just to mention to you, electrophile should be a positively charged. Yeah, so you close to the NO2 plus. You don't need to put plus also can be. It means plus something, no need. So you just show to the reaction undergoing to the NO. Yeah, to the species. Not necessary to the positive charge. Not necessary. Because electron that you must show. But in a positive, no need. And then afterwards, they're able to obtain in the following part. Remember, back to the chemical structure, the double bond, and afterwards, you have to show to us how the connection should be. One should be the H, and another should be NO2. Remember, this one actually is from the pi electron here. It's using by this carbon, this carbon tolong pin jump. It pin jump for what? Because NO2 plus without carrying any electron. Tachukok electron. So the pi electron here used to pin jump. This electron pin jump. This one. It's pin jump from the benzene ring to attach with the NO2. So the carbon is one very pity. You say you steal the electron to do a new bonding. How about me? So the CM So we put positive charge for it. Positive. To show that this one is carbon, that's all electron. Mm -hmm. Get it? Okay, now, okay. Then afterwards, go to the one more part. You have to form. Okay, which one going to form back the pi electron? This is the electron. This one, this one. But before going up, 
the compound itself must be looking for somebody to take off the H. It needs the H to be donated. So what to do? Yes, this catalyst come and afterwards they can able to contribute to the H itself. Uh, now you can see the electron, you can show the electron toward the H, not to the bond, uh, to the H. Okay, to the H. And finally, this one we return. And I refer to both already. You can show to the positive or you can show to the bond, it will be accepted. Do you understand? Okay, uh, so once again, some students say, Mr. Lim, can I show to the arrow to the positive because we study in the alkene group. I say no problem. But some of them say, Mr. Lim, can I show to the bone only? I say also no problem, either one. So finally, this compound will be attached. NO2 followed by here also NO2. And remember, they got substitute, that means a catalyst must be attached. Once again, it's to SO4. Get it? Can I? Okay, so this is undergoing and you can do any of the mechanism that you study from the lessons apply into this case. Any question you want to ask? Any question? No question, then we proceed. Uh, so, yep. uh, for the, the NO, NO2, right? Ah. Uh, the pi bond is supposed to break, right? Uh, the NO2 and H, I put at the upper carbon, positive one. Carbon one, ah? Uh? Yeah, I mean, the instead of the NO2 and H at the carbon below here, can I put like up up there? I mean like choose either either one carbon to be attached. Uh, 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 I, I still cannot get you. Okay, so oh some students say Mr. Name I put NO2 put here. Is it? Uh, no, I mean the NO2 attached to other carbon. Other with other carbon, ah, you must be careful, ah. This one actually, okay, thank you. The question given to you, either the hint is the compound itself and to form N dinitro. It started here meta already. So you still attached with other located at auto and para. Do you think the answer is correct? Sorry, wrong. The question given to you, N dinitro already. So we know the anitro should be NO attached at the meta positions, none others. Except that you are going to do for this one. Mr. Lim, I am going to do for this one. I attach the NO2 plus to here. To here. Can, no problem. Can be. This case uh, will be accepted also. Okay, but normally is we put here with the pi bond, it's more easy for you to show how the electron. Because you put it here later, the positive will go to this side. Do you understand? Go to this side, then later you are getting so weird. So why don't you try to go for further? Meta, easy for you to recognize, is referred to here. Okay, no harm in let's say you attach with the double bond here, this one to contribute to form the bonding. No problem, can be. But uh, make it more easier, you attach with uh, this pi bond. Uh, yeah. The NO2 plus the plus is uh, on the N side or O side? Okay, refer to your lecture note, it should be under NO2 plus here. Here. Uh, because in the lecture notes, uh, uh, the first uh, equation is the NO plus is on the O side, but in the mechanism, 
is at the enzyme. Okay, let me do a check uh, because I want to see about But normally we put NO2 is positive here. Normally lah. Okay, oh, so, so... So the uh, arrow should point to, add, uh, point to the positive. Uh, arrow the show NO2. to... Okay, arrow show to the positive. Let's say you show to the NO2, actually we will, we will accept it. We will be accepted. Because we just put important is the pi electron. I repeat. The pi electron showing should be more important rather than the NO2 plus. Oh, okay, okay, thank you, sir. Okay. Can I? Okay, so now any questions? No, we go further. Please screen, thank you. Uh, okay, one thing uh, to remind sir. you. Yep. Uh, can show the mechanism if I draw the other way around. Uh? For example? Uh, that I draw the, I show that the NO plus will be joined to the other, to the left hand side, that, that one. Okay, for example, this one, isn't it? Is it attached to here? This one? Is it? Hello? Uh, but if you draw like this, uh, it's the right hand side one. The right hand side one. The right hand side? Yeah, it shows as uh, my answer just now. This one? Yeah? This one or this one? So I think she means uh, using the left one, but uh, the NO2 attack to the pi one at the right bottom. Prefer? Oh, okay. I hey, just I mentioned to you, I just thought, can, can, no problem. Can. Okay, some students will show right this way. Which the NO2 here, then you use this one to show the pi electron. Yeah, and furthermore, they will form this compound. Okay, this one also can be, no problem. Because later, you return to the same way to form the same compound at the end. This one will be. Can I? We'll be okay, no problem, no harm. Am I answer you? So, is it mean that? Uh, yes, yes, thank yes, you, sir. sir. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Victor. So is it means like uh attack if any in any side also okay, but just important that the product is M di nitro benzene. Yes, correct. Correct. Oh, okay, okay, thank you, sir. Mm, yeah, welcome. Okay, uh, so as Victor mentioned to us, if let's say they're using different type of the pi bone, but finally we come up with the same end product. Is it okay or not? Answer is yes, you can. Okay, the most important you have to know about the nitro should be attached to the meta position positions. Okay, yeah. okay so L2 student done already? Done, okay. Now we go for here. Okay, in the following part we call the halo alkene. This halo alkene is student normally will test you. Test you what in the type of halo alkene. If you are confused already, you totally lost, you will choose the wrong way for the mechanism. 100% you're getting wrong answer. So you must know about which of the cases here. The X we representing by the halide atom can be bromine, can be chlorine, can be iodine. But when you attach to the C, you have to know about how many alkyl group attach to make it become different degree of the halo alkene. Faham tak? Faham ha? You must clear. If let's say you're not clear, it means you're not obeying our learning outcome. You champo other all the things, then getting wrong answer, then you're getting wrong. You cannot, you don't know how to answer because you choose wrong way already. Okay, so that's why in the way that you have to understand about what is the difference between SN2, SN1, based on the type of the halo alkene. 
Okay, I give you the six number later. Huh? And this is the six number that normally I will ask the student to remember when you answer this question. Okay, but normally L1 student know already, L2 they still do know, I will tell you how to apply it. And uh, okay, I show to you how to do it. This is the example. Okay, so the six number that you have to remember which is one, two, three, two, one, and one. Okay. Back to here. Normally I label back three it refer to tertiary halo alkene. One refer to primary halo alkene. Yeah. Two refer to two step. One refer to one step. Okay, and heard this is under SN1, this is under SN2. Get it? Okay, in the SN1, one, this one refers to uni molecules or uni molecules and also refer to first order. SN2 refer to what? Refer to bimoleculars and also refer to second order. Okay, so this question normally will come up then you know how to apply it. Get it? Huh? Okay. So for example, for example, the question stated here. Compound X. Okay, with the molecular formula of here. Okay, undergoing the OH negative to form a new compound, which is compound C. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is compound X, huh? Hmm. Okay, then afterwards they will ask you show the mechanism. Normally I will ask you based on the mechanism, or I will ask you about the red law. Then for the mind, number three. I make a new compounds. I will ask you about what is the reaction will be happen. Or number four, I will ask you if let's say I change the condition. Get it? Get out. Okay. So this four question you will pulang 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 there, then sometimes you will getting confused but once you understand you won't be getting wrong okay for example this compound itself uh, you have to know about this is under the cl attached with the c and this c attached with how many yes just only one one alkyl group we know compound x refer to the first degree of halo alkene keep in your mind yeah, okay, so one refer to one, this one, this one. Then how many steps? Two steps. Then involve two molecules and it's under second order. Okay, nah? okay. now we refer to the mechanism. The mechanism refer to one step so you can able to show to us what is the mechanism should be. So normally students sometimes they will confuse but now you have to know how to draw it in the proper way. For example, here, this is the C. 
and afterwards I show based on the topic number one the wages that I learned it before draw nicely confidently and okay, afterwards this one also show to us okay attached to here then you have to know this one should be go through the CL the CL over here then they got four group okay, three more group you have to attach which group H, H followed by CH2, CH3. So what should you do? You can do any arrangement for it. Get it? Get okay. Then afterwards, show to us how the OH itself will be going to be attached. Okay, student. So if let's say you're not sure you can able to give it to us based on the topic number seven we learned it two days ago some students they are very smart in the way to draw the electron on the nucleophilix you will draw this one for us which is o one two three four five six h with a negative here ah yeah, no problem, uh. can be, uh. can be. Okay, afterwards, we show about the electron toward the C and the bond for the CL to the C, in between to the CL. Yeah, I just discussed with one of the students during the exam for test one. He showed that the CL will contribute to the C to the CL. Sorry, you have, you mix up already you simply draw format consider wrong you must know the electron donated is from the bonding or from the lone pair it's not from the carbon or else you must understand about this issue okay uh? then this one step show the one step with the intermediate okay Ah, okay now how the way that we have to attach remember that the C itself is under intermediate so put three dot to represent it and the rest is just copy properly remember column will contribute half mark included this symbol okay so finally this compound can be obtained it yeah okay this one step normally will contribute to you four marks so when you draw please show to us how the confirmations for the compound before then versus after so you must show about how the wings of the edges in the proper way slightly different will be considered accepted but don't until you keep we don't know how to differentiate then we won't give it to you any, any mark Okay, now, okay, this is mechanism done already and they'll ask you what is the red law. Red law refer to here SN2, two molecules should be undergoing. Two molecules are, so that we can write down which is red equal to K. And remember, involve two of the chemical so that you just copy the whole chemical structure toward it. Some students say, Mr. Lin, if let's say I copy the whole expanded structure into it, the answer is bole. Bole. Okay, you want to draw skeleton, but make sure it's correct. 
condense full mole then follow by OH negative put OH negative done unless some of the question is being stated about OH negative it said that it's undergoing nucleophilic substitution uh, then ask about how to read the red law so you can able to write it as a K the first chemical structure then followed by NU negative can be no problem because this one representing the necrophile or the species for necrophile in the red clear clear okay so next one next the question will ask you about it let's say this compound x we change to compound y and this is the compound y hello you ask you about this compound ah then once again the question still asking about how you recognize the type of the halo alkene so what's the difference this is primary then this is tertiary and this tertiary refer to here tertiary two step and the, with the first order uni molecule I mean the red law is a K just involve the chemical structure of this compound which is this one Yeah, they ask you give the comment comment is what the red low the reaction rate is lower compared to compound X do you understand because it just only involve single molecules also consider first order first order direction order should be all the time lower compared to the second order once again I repeat first order directions all the time consider lower compared to the second order direction you get my thing can I okay so this is the way that how you're able to recognize the chemical structure and so on then, uh, sir, yeah. for the mechanism of SN, SN2, the end products, ah. the lecture slides uh, mentioned that the wages and the dash will be, there's an inversion of configurations. Yeah, that's why I say I use uh, the, the, here, the drawing pad, uh, sometimes it's so difficult. Okay, once again, I will draw it. Okay, so once again, I, I show to you how the drawing should be. Ah, okay. Certified? Okay, there. Okay, so you can see just now the two of the H on our left hand side. But after the mechanism, it should facing to our right hand side. So you can show that the mechanism undergoing still under tetrahedra, but the conversions of the conformation will be different. Okay, you can print screen. Uh, yep. Uh, what we put for the seed in the system, uh, daughter and the base uh, can be randomly chosen. I, I want to put CH2, CH3 at the, at the uh, upper part also okay. Eh? No problem. The question is the CH2, CH3, let's say put upper part, it becomes CH2, CH3, H at the bottom, full mole, full mole, because the whole compound actually can be rotated. You oh, okay, rotated. Okay, okay. Uh, so you put the H undergoing the down, downward, CH2, CH3 at the top, also no problem. Okay, thank you, sir. Yeah, welcome. Class, are you okay? You feel sleepy already, ah? Uh?
No ah. Okay. So remember about this number. It can able to help you to solve a lot of problem. Get it? Okay. So today last question ah for discuss. So now look here ah a uni molecular process. So it's take rapidly with the halo alkene is heated under reflux with potassium cyanide in ethanol. In ethanol. Yeah, so this is the undergoing, how the reaction should be undergoing, and you must understand about uh, what is the solvent should be used. Can I? Okay, in this question that is set here, how the mechanism should be. Hmm. So, once again, students sometimes you ask me, Mr. Lin. Uh, we, we still do know the this one should be under E1, E2, SN1 or SN2. How it should be? Hey, don't worry. The question stated here, the halo alkene is sitting under reflux with potassium cyanide in ethanol. Am I right? But uh, the question didn't stated to you the KOH in ethanol. Be careful, uh, cyanide in ethanol, okay? Should be okay, uh, but it, let's say it give it to you is a KOH or NaOH in ethanol. Ah, be careful. So this one should refer to the E2 elimination. So be careful about the statement. Uh. Some students will be getting confused already. So that's why you're getting wrong way. So that's why this one is still undergoing SN. SN what? Uni here. SN1. Okay, so SN1, how many steps? 1, 2, 3, ma. Uh, let me do a check. Uh. 1 uni molecule, 10. Give to you the halo alkane is 3 methyl, 3 chlorohexane. So you draw the chemical structure. Then we know undergoing the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Then we know refer to 3 phenyl, 3 chloro. Ah, uh, then you can see questions still asking about how you recognize the halo alkane compound. We know this one refer to the tertiary halo alkane. How many steps? Two steps. S and 1. Okay, number 1. Outline the mechanism given that hello alkane is 3 phenyl 3 chlorohexane. So we know this compound you must show to us how the chemical structure under attach so we can able to form the final compound. Okay, now. okay. what should you do? Yes, first step you're going to form the carbocation by donating the pi electron to the Cl to form the ions. So finally, you can able to form this compound. So, wait, uh, wait, wait, let me finish it. Yeah, why is it? So, ethanol not usually uh, elimination reaction. Elimination in, let's say, ethanol, but the Cyanide here must be potassium hydroxide or sodium hydroxide. Understand? Okay, so. Okay, be careful, uh, be careful with it. Okay, done already. Uh, this one is under the first step. You want to label first step, step one, no problem. You want to label this as under slow, also no problem. Okay, uh, then afterwards, this compound undergoing, which is the OH going to attach, so we can able to form the compound. So we go to the set number two. Okay. Cyanide. So you can see the cyanide C triple bond N with the negative charge here. Ah, it's going to be attached. Remember, ah, just only electron can be attached to the cat ion positive charge don't the ballet you the ballet sorry already totally wrong so finally we can able to form this is the final compound
Can I? Okay, so outline mechanism, we got totally two step, done already. Okay, this is compound. CN here, you triple bond, no harm, will be accepted. Okay, write the red equation for the reaction outline in Q3. So then we refer to uni molecule. Uni molecule refer to the Heller alkane compound only. So the answer can be write it down red equal to K followed by R. Be careful, uh, this is the chemical structure. You want to give the name, you want to draw the chemical structure into here, Poon Bole. But last semester, one student lost of this one as a one mark. What's the reason? Because he chose wrong chemical structure. He chose the end product. So that's why students, sometimes when you answer the questions, do you must understand what is the question one. It refers to the rectum, not the end product. So don't choose this one uh, into here. You to you totally wrong. Get it? Okay, then. Predict the effect to the red reaction if the concentration of KCN is double. KCN, we know that this is under tertiary, not involve the second rectum. So if let's say you go KCN, what is the effect? The answer is the red of reaction is the red of the reaction is remain. Understand? Because no effect unless it stated here the rec the concentrations for three phenyl three chlorohexane is increased. Ah, uh, then you can know this one should be involved to determine the rate. So yes, the reaction getting higher rates. Yeah. Okay. Once again, number four. Name the type of mechanism if the halo alkane used in the reaction above is one chloro two phenyl and Thing. So once again, uh, this question is still asking about how you able to recognize the type of the halo alkane. One chloro followed by two phenyl. Okay, then what type of the halo alkane should be? Yes, it's under the first. Okay, still do know, call the number out. One, two, three, two, one, one. Here's number one. Okay, one. Uh, so in the primary, then we know this under SM2 mechanism. It's stated about name type of the mechanism, so we can give the name as a SM2 mechanism. Can I? Okay, be careful. Uh. SM2 mechanism, and they ask you explain your answer. So you got totally three points to explain. What are you going to explain? First one, you can say this is under a bimolecular nucleophilic substitution. Okay, can you print screen first before I do, do a new page? Yes. Yeah, that uh, Okay, so explain. So you got totally three points you must understand how to explain. So point number one, this one refer to the SN2 mechanism. In the mechanism itself, you must involve the bimolecular nucleophilic substitution. Okay, and afterwards. Elasis under the bimolecular substitutions, then we know this one should be under where? Obeying second order. How about the reaction rate? Yes, the reaction is react what? Most directly. Yeah, then afterwards you can say that. You can uh, mention about this, this compound just I show to you is what? It's a primary halo alkene. Okay. 
You get my point? Yeah, this all the thing you can go in, go in, go in, whatever. Okay, but some of them, the student will attach, will involve two molecules, same thing, bimolecular. Okay, some of them said that you speed up the reaction rate. Okay, also no problem. Get it? Yeah, okay. So this all the thing that you can able to explain based on the idea that you have. Okay, so I just stop here. So tomorrow, uh, before we end it, you can refer to these questions. Okay, the question is stated to here. SN1, SN2 must involve the nucleophile. E1 and E2 we discuss tomorrow. Okay, so this is E1, E2 we discuss tomorrow. So what time tomorrow that you're going to, uh, you want? You want morning 10 to 12 or you want 2 to 4 during afternoon? Choose one. Or you do one or you can do by yourself somebody okay never mind you can propose to the microsoft team we choose the majority then later i will make announcement which on the time is suitable for you to do the part two can i okay so we should all good night and anything you can refer to me through microsoft team and take a rest okay thank you very much and class dismissed Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Yes, this uh, is optional, right? Yes, optional. No attendance will be taken. Thank you. Good night. Yeah, good night. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Thank you, sir. Yep. Thank you, sir. Thank welcome. you, sir. Yep. Thank you, sir. Okay, good night. Uh, sir, yep, yep. Uh, can I share my screen to do some clarifications? No problem. Okay, okay. Okay. okay, what can I do for you? Sir, for ah. this one, just now uh, I, I got asked a question about the in, inversions of configurations. Ah. Because the first uh, pro, uh, the rectangle here is the wedges is on the top one, but and uh, at the left one, and then but at the end product there it become right side. Ah. Yep. So which one is correct? It's correct. It's correct. Make sure that. Make sure that when you draw, can you see my circle? Wait, uh, uh, I stop sharing my screen.